Hi Countryside, it's Joe Smith, your general manager, and I'm here today with Mike McDonald, the chair of our 2.0 renovation committee. Mm -hmm. Um, we are back with another one of our project updates. Uh, today's Friday, March 1st. Mike, thanks for the time, sure. as always. Sure. Um, lots happened in the last couple weeks. Mm -hmm. um, but what we'd like to do with these videos uh, for the next few that are upcoming is I'd like to try and focus on kind of a, a future feature of the club sure. to see if we can get people out there in the community visualizing some of the changes. Sure. So, okay. Um, so today we are standing in the lobby and behind us is the atrium. I'm sure many of you uh, remember this area of the club. Mm -hmm. And if you recall, there was a big uh, dividing wall between mm -hmm. the lobby and the atrium. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the big changes that we're gonna have with the renovation, correct? Right, we're gonna open the lobby from the front doors all the way through to the back of the atrium. So this brick right. wall that's behind us is gonna be completely gone. Right. And this whole area is gonna be opened up. Mm -hmm. It's all been stripped down to the essential structure, which is a reinforced block wall and a poured concrete uh, lintel. Um, these are the last pieces to be removed. Yep. Um, now that we see um, what's holding up what, and we can understand that this can go as planned without any uh, detriment to the greater uh, structure of the yeah. building. It's gonna be amazing. So when you yeah. come in the front doors of the, mm. uh, of the club, when mm. this is completed, you're gonna be able to see straight through out to the uh, Mm -hmm. Ninth uh, green. Yes, I mean, it's gonna be incredible. It's gonna view. be very nice. Yep. So, and this was just a little bit of history. Mm -hmm. This was actually an exterior wall, and the atrium, uh, mm -hmm. from what I'm told, was mm -hmm. an outdoor space at one time. Sure, it was a courtyard. Yeah, a three-sided courtyard. That um, and so these French doors that were here and the, with the fan lights, that was an exterior wall. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. So it'd be yeah, good so to it's, clear it all out. It's going to be so awesome when you walk mm. in. The, I mean, just dramatic. So yep. Um, yep. you know, again, if if you can visualize that, it's obviously it's it's quite mm. a ways in the future. We've got a long road mm. ahead of us. But right. um, if you can visualize that uh, as you enter the club in mm -hmm. first quarter twenty-five. Yep. Um, it's just going to be an, an incredible new view and, and mm -hmm. lobby area and just right. be much more open. And we are retaining the wood, um, mm -hmm. tongue and groove wood ceiling. Yes, correct? so that ceiling was in both spaces. It'll now be a continuous ceiling with some additional false beam work yep. put up there. The wood, the old stained wood will be painted yep. uh, with a nice uh, off white color, most likely. And um, those beams will just add some texture to it. Uh, but it'll help the space read as one space from yeah. front to back because it'll have yeah. the same ceiling treatment all and the way through. It's just really going to brighten things up. Yep. I mean, it's yep. what an incredible improvement. Yep. So. I think we could add a basketball hoop here in the uh, in the lobby. <laughs> we could look at that. <laughs> we could have really, a little uh, future amenity. <laughs> yeah, we could have a little free throw uh, contest. It'd be yeah, great. <laughs> you know, something for uh, members to do while they're waiting for their table. Maybe. Exactly. So, exactly. Plenty of space. Um, plenty of height. Play for free drinks. Exactly. Exactly. So, excellent. Right. Well, there's there's obviously there's been an awful lot of work happening inside. Demo mm -hmm. continues, but um, next mm -hmm. week mm -hmm. we're going to start to see th some work outside. Is that correct? Yes, so uh, they're going to start at the north and west and the old Lakeview Lounge. That roof comes off to create the new cathedral ceiling space yeah. of the bar. So they're going to strip off the, the roof tiles. They're going to try to save a few since they are um, 2018, I think. Yeah, uh, not yeah, an right. old roof. 2019, I think. Yeah, yeah, so as many as we can reasonably salvage without spending too much time. Uh, once the tiles are salvaged, the rest comes off um, with a machine. Uh, the trusses are lifted off, plywood, the whole works, and we're, we open the whole bar area and former office space to the daylight. Yeah. Uh, we can then cut the slabs up and begin the foundation work for the new walls that'll go in to in, um, enclose and what the, the is the enlarged. Yeah. Because yeah. the Lakeview Lounge is going to expand out in two directions. Um, out to the back towards the golf, yep, and to the side where the car carts marshal up. Um, the room gets bigger in floor plan, and then with the new cathedral ceiling, uh, yeah. the whole volume and, and character of that space changes. It's just going to be awesome. The bar yeah. will be in the center, and I mean this mm -hmm. this whole area. It's hard to envision now, mm -hmm. um, especially as you and I are standing here in a right. concrete shell. Yeah. But this whole area, as you walk into the club, and just mm -hmm. the 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 this being mm -hmm. removed and the openness of the Lakeview Lounge and the view out is just sure. It's just going to be awesome. Yep. So and the new flooring through the lobby and into the lounge is a luxury vinyl tile yep. in a plank design, kind yep. of faux wood. Uh, so that finished material will be greeting you as you first enter the lobby and it'll flow right into the open uh, portals yep. that lead you into the lounge. So it's, it's uh, good floor to have in a bar and lobby. It's quiet. 
uh, long lasting. Yeah, industrial. and you know, it looks nice too. I I, yeah. I had that at a previous club, and, and mm -hmm. the uh, the visual appearance is is really you can't tell the difference. Right, it really looks nice. It's a little softer underfoot, but a little yeah. better on acoustics than yeah. ceramic tile, um, and it'll hold up better than actual wood. So. Excellent. Uh, Good selection. And the the um, the upcoming annual meeting. I know mm -hmm. you're planning on giving. Um, uh, you have a couple slides devoted to the um, mm -hmm. the final interior design yep. selection. So, uh, those of you who plan to come to that on uh, March 14th, you'll you'll get a good flavor of of mm -hmm. um, all the work that the interior design committee has been doing. So yeah, the subgroup that uh, we put together um, has met several times with yeah. the interior design team. They have approved. Um, uh, at their stage, all the material selections, not necessarily every color, but they have a scheme. Yeah. They have a general color scheme. Uh, they're gonna present that to us next week at the full 2.0 committee yeah. for our acceptance. Um, it eventually has to go to the board, but we'll be previewing that right. uh, that result, the sample boards, the, um, the renderings, the images. Uh, at the uh, annual meeting. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So um, just quick from an operations mm -hmm. standpoint, we obviously mm -hmm. want everybody to be aware of, of the work that's going to happen here next mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to see the construction fence move out about 35 feet, mm -hmm. um, which is obviously going to affect uh, golf operations. Um, mm -hmm. And actually, um, the end of, of this week, you, you, you'll have seen there, um, some work and demo being done to that planner. Sure. Um, because at long term, at the end of the project, um, mm -hmm. everything kind of shifts that way. Correct. Um, you know, we do expand some of the brick pavers and the, the cart staging area um, mm -hmm. towards the uh, the first tee. Right. Um, because the, the building uh, the building. building footprint expands with the private dining multi-purpose room yep. addition, uh, so the the site design encompasses uh, clearing back that little section of planting bed where there, there's four big palms and some some other greenery right. there. So that right. uh, that's planned to be. Uh, removed and paved over with the right sub bed. So we're just getting a jump on that to yeah. make room for the um, temporary construction activities. That's right. That's right. So we're going to try and keep the disruption to a minimum, but um, you know, mm. it's it's uh, yeah. it's it's going to be a little difficult with that, but mm. Mike Batter and Stephanie and, and the golf operations team are are well informed and I'm sure they're going to do their best to mm -hmm. Sure. direct traffic and make sure everyone yep. is, is safe out there. So mm. so back to the project. Mm. Um, anything else major in the next uh, several weeks here? I mean, the, obviously the roof work is, is mm. big. Yep. Um, and the demo continues. Yeah, we're going to hear some noise next week. They're going to start cutting the slabs yeah. and cutting the walls, the masonry walls to um, adjust the openings for right. the new floor plan. There'll be some beams inserted. Uh, we're looking at the old chimney right now to see what we do with that. Uh, yeah. It's quite a sizable element. It used to house the kitchen exhaust ducts, but will no longer be needed for that. So right. we're going to see, do right. we save it, uh, patch it up, do we take it off? Um, but demo is still the major activity. Again, we're setting the stage for some foundation work yeah. here, uh, probably beginning of, uh, of the next month. And when mm -hmm. you mentioned slab cutting, mm -hmm. um, as I understand, the entire floor, concrete floor in the kitchen comes out. So mm. what can the community expect in terms of concrete debris being moved off site? Um, it's got to be a, a few hundred tons of concrete's going to go out. Uh, the cuts to transform an old kitchen into a new kitchen were so numerous, we just elected on the design to just take out the entire slab of that area. Instead of trying to isolate every sink drain, every outlet, uh, we just we're cutting the whole thing out so that's gotcha. a, uh, maybe at least a thousand square feet of yeah. four inch slab coming out um, there'll be selected cuts throughout the other parts of the interior we're connecting our beer cooler over to our two that's, bars that's right so there'll be a long trench uh just short of 100 feet from the beer room which is in the kitchen zone that's right out to the pool cafe and back behind us to the bar yeah. so uh, that trench will hold an eight inch plastic pipe that'll have all the beer lines running through it yeah. and we'll put a soda system of yeah. uh, lines into that same trench uh, so again a very long narrow trench but and then we have to dig down take some sand out and bury those pipes yeah. so uh, a lot of work there there's a few other selected areas where we have new structural supports going in so we'll cut out the thin slab pour a, a footing and um, support the new loads there 
but it's a dusty, uh, noisy operation. Yeah. They have several small machines here to scoop it all up and run right. it out to the dumpster. But, and that all gets recycled. All that masonry and concrete oh. goes in a segregated dumpster. They send it to a grinding plant and they actually grind it into gravel and use it for fill. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. If we all remember the corner of Santa Barbara and That's right. Davis, That's they right. Took, that was exactly what that was. There was right. a million uh, tons of old concrete. Yeah. Yeah. And it uh, went on for a few years, but they ground it all into nice small gravel sized material and they sold it off for building construction. So right. uh, it's good to see there's a little bit of recycling. Uh, yes, and the recycling is not happening on site. No, so no, just, no, just no. so everyone's yeah. clear on that. But, right. It goes back to um, the yard for the. For the yeah. You will see an awful lot of trucks, big dump, yep. dump trucks, leaving here with, with yep. concrete. And, yeah. I think you're right, it's going to be awfully noisy. So, right, yeah, um, and there'll be some dust and so on, so they'll have to keep an eye on that. If the dust uh, can't be contained, they'll have to wet down the right. area to keep it um, from migrating out, because right. we don't want to be inhaling right. uh, that stuff. So, oh. uh, Excellent, well, yeah. I mean, we're moving along. Yep. Um, yep. You know, I, I guess mm -hmm. the next big update will be at the annual meeting, which yes. is uh, March 14th. Mm -hmm. uh, 9 a.m. at New Hope Church, and then you know your mm -hmm. committee. Mm -hmm. I can't give them enough kudos. They're just, mm -hmm. just such an uh, incredible group of professionals yep. who yep. are mm -hmm. um, knowledgeable in the areas we need them to be knowledgeable in. Right. So right. they're meeting every two weeks uh, with yep. the the general mm -hmm. contractor, and mm -hmm. I mean I would expect mm -hmm. in the next uh, you know continuing into the next several weeks we're going to see mm -hmm. a lot more trades on site. And, yes. And, um, yep. Most our, importantly, you're going to see exterior work start to happen. So. Right. Our push for the committee is to get the construction manager to come up with time-saving uh, strategies. Yeah. All right. So we're looking to overlap um, activities, bring more workers in some of the trades. Um, we haven't really hit anywhere near peak um, enrollment here right. of the construction population. But the, the construction schedule builds on a bell curve, so we're on the steep incline of building up the trades and the numbers yeah. of guys. And it'll be uh, six, seven months out, we'll hit the peak. Uh, but we're trying to get them to find strategies that'll shorten the construction schedule so we get in sooner. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, it benefits us all. You bet. So, you bet. Excellent. Okay. Well, Mike, as always, appreciate the time. Mm -hmm. Countryside uh, questions, comments, you can send them our way. Uh, Mike's always available, any mm -hmm. of the committee members or myself. Um, again, I, I know I continue to remind everybody, but the website is a great source of information for. Mm -hmm. Anything countryside related, but also anything countryside 2.0 related. Yes. So um, we are on a schedule with these video updates, so pay attention to your emails. Uh, we, we, we love mm -hmm. doing these. Oh, yeah. I do anyways. Oh, yeah. um, but no, I think they're, they're great. You know, sure. Just yeah. for people to be able to see the visual progress. So right. um, just be aware. There's a lot happening in the next uh, couple mm -hmm. weeks here, so we want everybody to be safe. Mm -hmm. And as always, we'll see you around the club real soon. Thank you.